So I think a lot of these already know us, but I'm Veronica and this is... I'm Rob. Okay. So, so this morning we're going to take you through a climbing orientated resistance exercise workout. Core workout. Um, and the exercises are going to target our whole body. So the anterior chain, posterior chain, and then our oblique slings, okay? And obviously climbing is a full body exercise, so we want to do exercises that cover all of it, okay? So first things we need is a cushion and a chair if you have it handy to actually go through the routine. For, um, first and foremost, we need to actually perform a warm up before we get started. So hopefully you guys can all still hear us. Veronica's just gonna check to make sure Instagram Live is still working. I'm gonna run this through a warm up. So can everybody still hear me okay? Seems people are joining, yep. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so to get started off, we're just gonna go through a little routine. It's gonna focus on just some of the climbing muscles as well that we use. So we're just gonna start off with some arm circles and we're gonna go arms backwards for 20 reps. Try not to hit each other if you have a partner. We did have a few accidents And then yesterday. we're gonna go arms forward for 20 reps. I think that's 20. And then arm opposites for 20. Okay. This is where I'm a bit dyslexic about this. I find this quite hard. Just move the arms if you can't get it right, by the way. And then change direction again if you can't. Okay, so next we're going to move into some basic squats, just some air squats, and we're going to go for 10 reps. So we'll just turn the toes out slightly, and let's go. <laughs> Bit stiff this morning, so it'll definitely loosen the joints up. Cool. Okay, so next, we're going to go legs wide, we're going to fold forward at the waist, and we're going to work on toe touches. So again, we're just going to open up our mid-spine. For a lot of climbers, we tend to get quite stiff in our mid-spine, so we're really going to try and open this up. So legs wide, fold forward, and toe touches. Behind it hard to touch your toes, you just want to touch your ankles. Okay, let's come back up again. So next exercise, we're gonna go for Cossack squats. And it's just weight transfer onto each leg. We're gonna try and go palms to the floor. So we wanna try and keep our torso nice and upright and just go right into a squat on each leg. We're gonna go for 10 on each side. And squat as low as you can. Okay, <laughs> that's 20. Okay, so next we're going to come into a plank position. I'm going to bring the right hand outside, right foot outside the right hand. I'm going to lift the right hand off the floor and rotate the right hand towards the ceiling. And again, we're gonna go for 10 reps. One, two, three, five, and six. And let's swap sides again. So left foot outside the left hand. 
And again, staying nice and low, we're going to rotate around and for 10 reps. back into plank position and for the last little warm-up routine we're going to go for mountain climbers so we're just going to bring the knee to midline and we'll build the speed up with these so we're just going to go as fast as we can come on V faster I'm going to faster than you <laughs> and keep going keep going Okay, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Ow. Okay. So that should be us well and truly warmed up. Heart rate should be warm. Woo! Pulse should be up a little bit and we should be ready for action. Okay, so grab your trusty chair and your cushion. And um, the first exercise we're going to do is um, called arm openings on the chair. And this exercise is going to. I'm a bit out of breath from that. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, so we are wanting to. This exercise is going to um, obviously work our abs, hip flexors, our legs, okay? So um, we're going to sit on the edge of the chair and um, use your left hand on um, the backrest there and this exercise all you can do is you're going to roll down I'm going to show you it first lift up your legs point your toes and reach your arm out okay and then you come back okay so we're going to do it eight reps first so as you roll down Open up your arms, point your toes. Imagine you're, if you're, imagine you're, if you're climbing, your toes on a foothold, really hanging on this foothold, and you're reaching for that hold, and then you're coming back. That was one. This is two. Reaching. And three. I can't see Rob. He might be cheating. Is he cheating? Is he just lying on the chair? Are you lying on the chair? No. <laughs> okay, as we open up, we're really keeping your core engaged. You're in that hollow position. <clears throat> I actually don't know how many reps I've done. Six. Okay. And now this is seven. Remember, toes pointed, core engaged, reaching, coming back. And one more. Great. Ooh, definitely can get a bit burned there. So we're gonna go do the other side as you come the right two. Um <clears throat> other side of your chair, and then you're gonna use your right hand to support you on the back rest there. Same thing again. You're gonna roll back, lift your legs up, point your toes, and reach back with your left arm, and then sitting back up. And let's go again. This is two, imagine you're reaching for that hold, coming back, that was two, and now three, pointing your toes, and up we go. So you, if you're not climbing, you can imagine you're on your chair and you're reaching for a cup of tea, <sighs> coming back mm. up, and five, Point your toes, core engaged. Six. Really, really should be getting to feel the burden now. Light on your right hand. Oh. Two more. Last one. Oh, is this last one? Yeah. Okay, I'm not very good counting. Good. And up we go. Right. So Ooh. you should definitely have felt that in your tummy muscles. And um, that if you felt a lot of hip flexors, it just may have been that you weren't you were arching your back when you're doing it. Okay, so just remember the next round when we do this, 
you're making sure you're in that hollow position. Okay, so next exercise, Rob's going to demonstrate. So the next exercise, we're actually going to target the oblique sling, so it's down the sides of the body. Uh, the most important point of this exercise when performing it is that your elbow is in line with your shoulder when you're on the actual floor. So we'll give you a demonstration first before we get started and we can crack on. We'll go for eight reps on each side. Okay. So I'm just going to come down onto the floor, feet up onto my cushion. And the most important thing is to keep our trunk in a nice straight line. We don't want to hold forward and move forward in this. We want to stay nice and open. So I'm just going to stack my feet on the chair. Elbow is under my shoulder. I'm just going to lift up as high as I can and slowly come back down. Now I'm trying not to let my hip touch the floor. It's just hovering above the floor. Arm up, reaching for another hold and back down. Okay, so we're going to go for the full routine. Are you ready, Veronica? Yep. Okay, so we're going to hover our hip off the floor, arm up like we're reaching for a climbing hold, and we're going to lift up and reach and back down and hover and up and reach and back down and three and four. Five, six, and seven, and last one, and hips as high as you can, and rest there. Okay. So you should feel this on the side that's facing the floor. You shouldn't really feel it on the side that's facing the ceiling. So now we're going to swap over and perform it on the opposite side. So again, just making sure the elbow is squarely on the floor and it's under the shoulder. Feet up onto your chairs. And you can have your hand on your hip, chest nice and open, or reaching up towards the ceiling. So hips up as high as you can. And reach. Hips back down and hover. And two. And three. And four. And reach as far as you can. Five. Six. And two more. Seven and reach. Okay, definitely. And last one. Now. And up we go. And reach as far as you can and hold it. A little bit more time under tension. Oh no, I'm done. And rest. <laughs> cool. So really target the sides of the obliques. Okay. So next exercise we're going to do is to work on your back extensors. Um, we have spent the last couple of weeks probably sitting a lot. Um, so we want to activate those extensors on our back. Um, so all you need again, your chair. I'll just use this one. And um, you'll need your lemon. Okay, for this. So when we were doing this um, as our advertising uh, for this, I wasn't very good at it. I did end up throwing the lemon about the room. So. Don't throw it too hard to begin with. Um, so when you lie over the chair, you actually want your, your stomach to be well supported. And um, so, <coughs> I'm kind of, so my stomach, most of my tall stomach is um, supported by the chair. And you can see my legs are extended backwards here. My toes are pointing, for, um, pointed um, away. And so, lemon, okay, so you're going to throw the lemon up and catch it, okay? So you see the way you throw it up, it makes you extend, and then you're going to fold forwards, throw it up, you extend, catch it with the other hand, and then you fold forwards, okay? So let's try and do um, 
eight catches. Okay, so throw it up, that's one. You fall down, throw it up, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, great. It's pretty hard actually. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the back extensions. Next exercise Rob's going to show you. Um, okay. So we've obviously looked at the anterior chain, so we've looked after the abs, we've looked after the obliques, now we're going to move on to the, we've covered the posterior chain, so now we're going to look at combining the posterior chain and the hamstrings, and we're going to use this by putting our climbing shoes on if you have them handy. It could be just a pair of trainers. Um, I just find actually doing this exercise, um, if you're just in your socks or barefoot, um, it was just really painful on your heels. So um, doing it in shoes is probably way more comfortable. So a really uh, important aspect of indoor climbing these days would be heel hooking on holes. And this is really gonna help to activate the hamstrings, the calves, and the lower back as well so this is really just going to help to increase the strength in this range so again it's quite a strong exercise so we're going to start off with both heels on the chair and we're going to lift their hips as high as we can so it's like a glute hand raise so arms up facing the ceiling we've got 90 degrees at our knees and 90 degrees at the hips to start so we're going to lift up as high as we can and extend the hips as far as we can go Eight reps? Yep. Yeah. Again, one, three. Yep. Four. And four. And again, you're just trying to visualize. Visualize imagining your heel hooking as you're lifting your hips up. Six. And seven. And last one, hips as high as you can, up, 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 really gauge the legs and the hamstrings and slowly come back down again. Cool. Okay, so cool. Um, the next exercise is, we've kind of, well, we've made up a name for it, we're going to call it the top out exercise. And um, this exercise um, <coughs> is a combination of pressing and working the anterior chain but also addressing some hip mobility issues so and um, to start <coughs> again you've got your chair um, shoes are kind of, if you want to keep them on you keep them on and just to remind you this is what it feels like to climb um, so hands either side of the chair the edge of the chair here and you're on your knees and your feet, the tops of your feet are touching the floor. So it's staying in this position, okay? So you're going to do your press, pushing up. So imagine if you were at the top of a problem and you need, you're beginning to top it out now. So this is where you're pressing and then you're pushing down the top of your left foot, but you really have to engage your core to then help you lift your right foot up by your hand as if you're going to top out here and then Bring that foot back down, lower back down here, so it's a bit of a dip. Okay, and if you're really good, you can not rest like Rob, and he's just hovering there, okay? <laughs> then we press up again, push down through our right foot, lift the left foot up by your left hand, and then coming back down. So we're going to go for, see, four reps each side. That was one. Second rep. I'm leaving. 